fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. From the rolling Mississippi across the Rockies to the Pacific coast, his strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. And in time, Hio Silver came to be the battle cry of justice on the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Red Rock. There's going to be trouble. Hey, old Silver. Hi. Young Don Williams rode through the trees toward the campfire. When he reined up at last in the circle of lights, he found the camp deserted. That's funny. Who'd go away and leave a fire like that? Been cooking some bacon. Hey, there was somebody here just a few minutes ago, and that means that... Steady there. Don't go for your gun. What the... Easy does it. A masked man and an engine. You aren't getting my money. Don't go for your gun. No crooks are going to get my... I warned you. My hand. You not hurt. Pick up his gun, Toto. Ah, me got him. We don't want your money. Huh? But you're masked. You're an outlaw. I can see that you're new to this country. It isn't wise to ride into a camp without making sure whom you're going to meet. But if you're outlaws... We what... aren't, but we might have been. I've seen you before somewhere. I, I can't say the same for you. Him look like fellow work for railroad. With a surveying crew, uh, that's it. What do you know about the surveying crew? Have you been sent out on a scouting trip? Well, <laughs> that'd be one way of putting it. I've been fired. And you're heading west. You know what Horace Greeley said, masked man. I'm following his advice. I see. You mean you're going to settle in the West? Not exactly. My boss, Walter Keene, fired me for insubordination and incompetence. Maybe I was insubordinate, I don't know. All I did was send a report back to St. Louis without his seeing it. But I'm not incompetent. I'm a good engineer and I'm going to prove it. How can you do that if you aren't working for the railroad anymore? By figuring out right now what Keene will be figuring out a month from now. The line the railroad's got to take through these parts. I'm going to buy land the railroad's got to have and then sell it back to him. I see. Hey, you know, you don't talk like an outlaw. I told you we weren't. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with your plan, and I may be able to help you out. Honest? Lem Tolliver has a ranch near Red Rock. He needs some money, and he wants to sell. I'm not an engineer myself, of course, but I have an idea it might be the place you're looking for. This, uh, Tolliver wants to sell? The money you could pay him now would mean a lot more to him than any amount the railroad could pay him later. And that's where I'm heading. How far is it to Red Rock? A day's ride. From what I remember, the maps, it sounds like just the right spot. I'll look over the country to make sure and then buy. Would you mind doing me a favor? Well, anything at all. Just tell me a little more about the reason for your being fired. That'd be a pleasure. I'd like to get it off my chest. Come back, Walt. Oh, well. Be the 
flat of the tent open. That way we can see if anybody comes up. Yeah. How'd you make out in River City? <laughs> well, after I explained to the townspeople that it was a toss-up between River City and Gainesboro, they uh, made me a little present of a thousand dollars. Not bad. But what if they hadn't come through? You couldn't draw your line through Gainesboro. No. As long as I'm in charge of this crew, I can do anything I want to. By the time my final report is made, I'll be rich. You ought to be when you can get a thousand from little four corners like River City. It was the ranchers that made up the purse. You know, we ought to get 10,000 at Red Rock. It's possible. With Valley Center on the other side of the ridge? It's a sure thing. There's only one part of it that's bad. What do you mean? What'd you find out there? Don Williams has bought a ranch just outside of town. Williams? Yeah, he got a hold of this spread real cheap. Made some kind of a deal with the guy who owned it. 10% of the profits in case he sold any land to the railroad. I don't care about that. Let him have his profits. But he'll cut into yours. How? Don't you see? If you try to get 10000 out of the folks around Red Rock, they'll go to Don and make him put up his share. What do you think he'll say to that? He won't do it. He'll make an awful holler. The head office will hear about it, and you'll be out of a job. I never did like that kid. Well, neither did I. He's too smart for his own good. We could draw the line through Valley Center. Not with Don around. You'd guess what you were up to without half tram. It cost twice as much to build the railroad through the valley. We aren't going to let Red Rock get by without a contribution, Al. Well, then you'll have to get rid of the kid. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about it some. You can find someone to do the job, can't you? I'd like a hand in it myself. Well, that's up to you. Oh, don't get me wrong. Butch can do the shooting. But I want to be there to make sure. Any way you want to handle it suits me. Just as long as you move fast. We'll be riding into Red Rock in two weeks. See that he's gone by then. Yeah. <laughs> gone and most forgotten. Howdy, neighbor. Oh, hello, Miss Manning. The name's Rita, mister. That's fine. And you're Don. You don't have to tell me. I, um, rode over this afternoon to give you some good advice. Well, that's better yet. <laughs> it won't take long. You'll never get this ranch in shape unless you go to work. When are you going to hire some men? <laughs> I'll, uh, let the next owner do that. Oh, what do you mean? I'm not a cattleman, Rita. The only reason I bought this ranch was to hold it for a while and then sell part of it at the railroad. What? That's right. It's sure to come through here. Well, that'll be fine when it comes to shipping our cows. But there's been some talk of Valley Center. Oh, I can't go that way. I know what I'm talking about. So you're just going to sit on the top of a corral fence and wait for the railroad to make up its mind. That's right. And when they do, I'll collect my profit and go back to engineering. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why? There's nothing to be ashamed of in what I'm doing. You're putting yourself in the same class with the loafers who hang around in front of the cafe. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that. Well, I do. You're young and you're husky, and you're letting a perfectly good ranch go to seed because you're too lazy to work. But I don't know anything about ranching. And what's it to do anyway? The cows I bought are getting plenty of grass and water. They can find it for themselves. Just look at this corral. There's a couple of brakes in it. Oh, well, I've only got one horse. He doesn't need a corral. The fences on your south border are all down. You're just asking your cattle to stray onto the next range. Your calves haven't been branded, not even earmarked. Won't be long before they'll be leaving their mothers. You're just asking rustlers to drive them off. I can afford to lose a few calves. But it isn't right for you to let a good ranch run down. It's my property. In a way, it's more than that. It's a trust. Mm. That's the way you feel about your father's ranch, I suppose. Of course. And if you had any pride... I have, as an engineer. Well, if you can't understand what I mean, there's no use in talking about it. <clears throat> Get around there, Chief. Oh, wait a minute, Rita. <clears throat> I understand. And... If I had somebody to get me started right, I'd put in my time here to better advantage. I'd be glad to help you. Well, it's a deal. Show me what has to be done, figure out how many men I'll need, and tell me where I can hire them. <laughs> you are a tenderfoot, aren't you? I admit it, that. <laughs> All right, Don. We'll start from the beginning tomorrow morning. I'll take you on a tour of inspection. Good. You can expect me at 8 o'clock, and we'll head for the south border. Those fences are... Oh, uh, what? I just happened to notice those two men. Where? They reined up at the top of the rise, by the cottonwoods. I never saw them before. Well, it's hard to make out their faces from here. Well, I could tell from the horses if I knew them. Well, if it was a white horse and a paint, I'd say they were friends of mine, but... There they go. That just shows you. Shows me what? There's no telling who's riding around loose in this country. 
If you want to keep a ranch and cattle, you have to take care of them. We'll start tomorrow morning. At 8 o'clock. Get up there. Sorry. What is it, Tyler? Missy Al fella come from railroad. Where? In town? On William Ranch. He called on Don? No. Him ride close. Him not go to house, though. This may mean trouble. Ah. Uh, maybe what you guess right. Al fella not alone. Was Keen with him? It worse. Butch Wheeler ride with him. You sure? Time to see him. Where are they now? Them go to hotel in town. Here, Silver. And what you do? There's no telling what they may try tonight. I'm riding out to Don's ranch. You want time to go? I think you'd better stay in town. Ah, uh, me keep good watch. I'll make my camp near the Cottonwoods. If they leave town, it doesn't matter which direction they take, ride out and tell me. Ah, uh, then we pick up trail. Follow it together, now. That's it, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Steady, Silver. We won't start after Don and the girl just yet. Here comes Tonto now. Hi! Hi, Kimosabe! Steady, boy. He's in a hurry. If Al and Butch headed for the east, it's all right. You ready to ride? Yes, Tonto. Don and Rita Manning started out for the south just a few minutes ago. And you can see where they are, that dust on the plain. Ah. I thought it might be a good idea to keep an eye on them. Now, what's the news about Alan Butch? Them right to south, too. Leave town maybe half hour ago. The south? Uh. We will follow Don and Miss Manning. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scout. Rain up behind those rocks. What's your idea? We in luck. Right here. Look, Butch. Here he comes. Yeah, but the girl's with him. What difference does that make? With that buffalo gun of yours, you can pick him off as he rides through the wash down below. I guess so. Then we hightail it up the ridge and over. We'll be out of sight before the girl can spot us, and we'll be on the other side of the town before she can bring any help. Yeah, it suits me. <coughs> this rock will make a good rest for the rifle. Get a good beat on him before you shoot. It's kind of far. But not for that rifle. Just one shot, Butch. Yeah, one will be enough, I guess. Yeah, the trail cuts straight across the wash. I can get him good from here. Now, what do you think of your ranch? We'll go to work on it, Rita. Paul can get just the men. Hire me some of his jailbirds, huh? Of course not. It's a slack time of year. You'll be able to pick up a right smart crew. Careful of this wash. Hey, I can ride, even if I'm not a cattleman. Slope sort of steep, that's all. Either cheek. Steady, boy. Straight across? Straight across the wash. Oh! Don! Don, are you all right? Oh. You've been hit. Where'd that shot come from? Oh, I see him. They're coming straight at us, Don, and I haven't even got a gun. Uh, who are they? That white horse in the paint you were talking about yesterday. Mad man and an engine. They are. Don! You killed him. Hip. We'll take a look. You won't get away with it, though. He isn't dead yet. I think we may be able to save him. Save him? Don't say anything about this to anyone. You can't threaten me. I'm not trying to. We weren't the ones who fired that shot. There's nobody else around here. I'm going after my paw and a posse. There's only one way you can stop me, and that's by shooting me, too. Miss Manning. Get up there, Chief. And what we do? We saw that flash in the ridge, Tonto. Al and Butch must have been up there. Ah, uh, you want Tonto to follow him? Our first job is to take care of Don. We can follow their trail later. And that girl brings Sheriff Manning posse. I know. We'll have to be careful. If they find us, we'll be arrested for murder. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. When Rita Manning brought word of Don's shooting to her father, the sheriff called out a posse and the search for the Lone Ranger and Tonto continued for several days. But they were unable to pick up their trail. And on the day the surveying crew set up its camp halfway between Red Rock and Valley Center, the sheriff admitted defeat. Yes, Keen, they got away from us. And we weren't able to find Don either. That's too bad. He was a fine boy. 
I thought you said you fired him. I did. I liked him personally, but he wasn't a good engineer. Oh, so that was it. In a way, I feel responsible for his death. Responsible? How? It was a masked man and an Indian that killed him, you say? Yeah. Well, he must have got into some trouble with them after he left me. If I hadn't fired him, he'd never have met them. Well, that might be true. There's no telling, though. And there's one thing you can be sure of, Keene. Yeah, what's that? Neither you nor your boys are going to have any trouble from those two. I hope not. If we haven't been able to capture them, at least we've driven them out of the county. I, uh, I don't suppose you have any idea which way the railroad's going to run. Well, not yet, Sheriff. It would mean a lot to Red Rock if we got it. It would mean a lot to Valley Center, too. Yeah. Of course, we're the county seat. There's a lot more ranches around us, big ones. I understand how you feel, Sheriff. <laughs> when I've looked over the ground, I may have a talk with you. Anytime, Keen. If there's anything I can do at all... There may be. I'm pretty sure there may be. You see, Sheriff, the advantages Red Rock would offer the railroad are offset by those in Valley Center. The decision between the two places is entirely up to me. Well... Before we move on, I'll have to give my report a lot of thought. Yeah. It'll be hard to make a decision. It'd be hard enough if I weren't worried by other things. You haven't seen anything of that masked man in the engine. No, no, nothing like that. It's a financial difficulty I'm in. I need $10,000. I need it badly. Ten thousand? Some debts I owe back home. If I had that money, I... Well, I think I'd do almost anything to get it. Are you suggesting that... Suggesting? Not at all, Sheriff. I'm just taking you into my confidence. Oh, I see. I promised that I'd have a talk with you. Remember? Yes. Yes, I, I remember. I've kept my promise. And I haven't talked with anyone in Valley Center. Yet. I won't for another two days. Two days, huh? That's right. You know where to find me. Will I be seeing you? I guess maybe you will. That's fine. So long, Sheriff. Until the day after tomorrow? Maybe sooner, Keen. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Sheriff. So that's his game. Paul. Oh. What have you been doing, Rita? Listening? Yes. That man's a crook. Why didn't you arrest him? Because he didn't break any law. Practically ask you for a bribe. Practically, but not quite. The government's putting money into this railroad. You ought to get in touch with Washington right now and have him discharged. He'd only deny it. I couldn't prove a thing. And Valley Center would get the railroad. But Don said that was impossible. It has to go through Red Rock. Not if Keen says it don't. I'm going to call a meeting of all the ranchers tomorrow afternoon. You going to ask him for the money? I'm going to put it up to them just the way it was put to me. They got as much a stake in this as I have. If Don was still alive, he wouldn't let that crook get away with it. I'm heading for town right now. We'll have a meeting tomorrow afternoon. There goes the sheriff, Tonto. Now we'll have a chance to talk with Miss Manning alone. Ah. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Oh. Man. I brought you a note from Don. He, he's still alive? He'll be well enough to ride tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, here's the note. I... Well, then, then it couldn't have been you who shot him. I tried to tell you that. Read on. All right. But, but if you know who did it, why don't you tell Paul? Keen would be warned. What's Keen got to do? Everything. Well, I know he's a crook. Has he asked your father for money? Ten thousand dollars. There's going to be a meeting of the ranchers tomorrow afternoon. This is our only chance to send him to jail, Miss Manning. Will you follow my instructions? Of course. Then listen. The ranchers will agree to pay the 10000 They need the railroad. Do you suppose you can persuade them to let you deliver the money? I can try. I, I think so. Then do it tomorrow night, not before. Oh, that's all right. He, he gave us until the day after tomorrow. But before you go to Keene, I want you to stop at our camp first. Where's that? I'll have to draw you a map. You've been around here all the time the posse was looking for you? You'll understand why they didn't find us when you see the map. Tonto and I have a long ride ahead of us tonight, but you'll find us waiting for you at the camp. I'll be there, masked man. You can depend on it. And there he is, Tonto, standing at the bar. Uh -huh. All right, inside. 
Reach for the ceiling, all of you. This way. This way, Butch. What's that? The game is up. Come here. What do you want with me? You're going back to Red Rock. No. Get his gun, Shadow. Now hurry it up, Butch. Get moving. <laughs> Hello, Rita. Don, it's good to see you. I sure feel the same way about seeing you. It's the best man here? Here he comes now. Who's that man lying on the ground? Don't worry about him. You brought the money, Miss Manning? It's in this bag. Good. Are there any of the ranchers still at your father's place? Yes, most of them are staying around till I get back. That's even better. You're going to wait here for a few minutes. That's while I pay a little call. Your horse is saddled, Don. Uh, Uncle Brigham. But where, where are you going, Don? You'll find out. It'll be better if you don't know till it's time. Get up there. Don. It's all right, Miss Manning. Now, when you take the money to Keene, don't be surprised at anything that happens. Keene, there's a horse stopping outside. I got ears, Al. Yeah, it's the sheriff paying us a visit. So soon? Why not? You say they had a meeting this afternoon. It's the girl. I wasn't sure this was your tent, King. What brings you here, Miss Manning? I've brought the money. Oh. <laughs> Do you mean that your father is making me a little present? Ten thousand little presents. You can count them if you want to. <laughs> oh, there's no need of that. You can tell your father he can be sure the railroad will go through Red Rock. You didn't have a chance of going anyplace else. What the... Don't make a move, Al. I've got you and the boss covered. Will you? Get even. I... I thought you were dead. It wasn't Al's fault that I'm not. That's a lie. It makes no difference now. What I want is that money. Now hand it over. Wait a minute, Don. You, get out of here. Are you talking to me? Hurry up. Don, are you going to let I got nothing to say to you, Miss Manning. You better do what he says. Get on your horse and start riding. Gang of crooks, that's what you are. You're all crooks. Just shove that bag over a little this way. I, I made a big mistake about you, Don. You sure did. It was Al's fault. He said you were too good an engineer to fool and... Too honest to bribe. So now you're going to make me a proposition. Yes. No, thanks. I'll just take this 10000 And you won't say a word about it either, King. I'll notify the sheriff right away. Better not. If I'm arrested, Washington is going to hear how you got this money. I'll deny it. All they have to know is that you had it. They'll ask plenty of questions that you won't be able to answer. The girl will tell her father even if I don't. And you keep them away from me, or it'll be too bad for you. Listen to me. For ten thousand, you're passing up a chance at fifty. How's that? Take your old job back. Work with us, see. From here to the coast, we can collect ten thousand in every county we pass through. From now on, we'll be so far away from the home office that we can set our own price and get away with it. What happens after your job is done and construction crews get out here? Nothing. Nothing. I won't get any more jobs as an engineer. But by then, I won't need them. Neither will you. And you got your training on the Union Pacific. Yeah. I thought every man that worked that job was a hero. <laughs> You're young. I'm learning fast about a lot of things. I'm going to take this money. But just as evidence, uh? you've confessed the dirty swindle you're working. And the government's going to know about it. I'd advise you to be smart. No, thanks. We can't let you leave here if you're going to make trouble. I'm not going to Quick, stay. Al. Get... Take your gun away from him. I got it. Don't try to use it, Al. Huh? It's a mask band. He's right behind you. Golly. That was a close one, mister. I was on guard in case they tried something like that. Did the others hear what they said? We'll soon find out. Here they come now. Are you all right now, boy? Sure I am, Sheriff. Did you hear what he said? Plenty. We were only about 15 feet away and canvas doesn't deaden sound much. All of you heard? Sure we, we did. did. That's fine. Now, wait a minute. This man is masked. He's the one who... He's was... the one who saved my life. And from now on, he's taking charge of things. No outlaw's gonna outlaw, take... Outlaw, nothing. That's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? That... Sure. He planned this trap for Keene. And he'll tell you what to do from now on. Well, that suits me. When Don brings charges against Keene, you'll all be asked to testify against him. Sure thing. Go ahead. By the time Washington gets around to investigating, I'll be out of the country. None of you have any authority to hold me. We've thought of that. Huh? The government has one charge against you, but the sheriff has another. No, I haven't. You will have. Just listen to Don. What do you got to say, son? Well, Al here was one of the men that tried to kill me. You're under arrest, mister. Time up, boys. Right. Now, let's have the rest of it, Don. Keen was the other one. I didn't have anything to do with it. You'll stand by me, Rob. No, Sheriff. The man who did the actual shooting is outside. You can bring him in, Tonto. We picked him up in Los Santos last night. You get inside. Sheriff, they paid me to do it. 
They told me Williams was a dangerous character. I thought I was working on the side of the law. Butch Wheeler. Who was it paid you? Keen. He's working for the government, sort of. That's why I did it. you got to believe me. It's a lie. I never paid him anything. I never saw him before in my life. You can tell that to a judge, Keen. That's right. He's been accused, and that's all I need. You're under arrest, Keen. So are you, Butch. We're holding you for trial. I ought to break your head in. Me, I'm telling the truth. I thought Williams was an outlaw. That story won't save you. I swear it. <laughs> Good for you. Maybe we can't convict you on the attempted murder charge, Keen. But you'll be held until the men from Washington get here. And then we'll send you to a federal prison for a long time. <laughs> yep, it's just working out fine and dandy. Thanks to the masked man. Where's he gone, anyway? Well, there's no more trouble around here, Sheriff. The country and the railroad are getting rid of a crook, so the masked man's on his way. Maybe you'll get Keene's job, Don. If I do, it'll be thanks to the Lone Ranger again. I don't see The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.